a Wasabi Hammurabi. So check it out. Originally, the video was supposed to be a tutorial of this guy, one lockdown and one Chromar. But in the midst of the video, I was inspired to do a remix and I ended up making this one. And so this is V2. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like them both, but I feel like I'm leaning towards V2. This is V1 again. And this is V2 again. Uh, can you tell me which one you like better? Would love to know. Hope you liked the video. All righty and all lefty, hefty, hefty cinch sack today. You know what? I hope I get sponsored by hefty cinch sack one of these days. And my whole, my whole uh, spiel would be like, hey, you guys deal with trash. I deal with like trash masters and junkions and sponsor me. Anyway, <laughs> today we're going to combine uh, lockdown with Chromar over here. And to be completely honest, I don't know if I'm 100% fine with the build. Um, I kind of want to start remixing it actually. But before we do that, oh homie over there that's a g2 sideswipe and he's wearing uh he's just waiting he it's he it's a bit yeah it's it's his turn next he's going to be up next for uh recording and uh this is cool i like the way the legs look very like samurai armor like you know with the plates uh he is a bit tall he's a bit of a long cat over here but the thing that's most hilarious is he's like i got no butt armor <laughs> he just shot up in the back dude <laughs> and so uh Anyway, he's over there. His turn is next. So we're going to focus on him. Um, but yeah, I do want to... I don't know, man. I kind of want to remix the arms. I mean, I do think they're very, like, unique. And then they're, like, different. But you see, there's no, like, forward movement on them. You know, they can just kind of move back. Um, and yeah, like, I can move this... I could orient this forward. I could have this here just fell off the legs are all falling off that's great um and i could have it kind of like that but i don't know man i love chopsticks and all but like i don't know but for the time being let's just focus on how this guy's made um so i just removed the arms for a second because we were looking at that and i kind of don't want to look at them right now it's a bit of an eyesore um, oh my gosh, fine, the legs are all popping off. I didn't reinforce them with pieces of paper. Fine, fine, we're coming apart anyway. So we have the leg over here and we have the exhaust. And very similar to some of the other builds that I've done, we have the four, or excuse me, we have the entire arm over here. Normally this piece I would keep oriented um, the other way, kind of like that. But instead, just for a change up, we're gonna have it oriented forward. We're gonna have it bent down. And then we're going to have the engine blaster just plugged into the side to beef up the, the, the what is the overall, pro, overall profile of the leg. And then we just have the hook bit plugged in uh, just because we can. And on the other side, it's more or less of the same. And those are going to be the legs, right? Easy peasy 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 breezy breezy breezy. Um, on the top over here, you can see this is just one of the legs with the two blasters here to make this chop it chop 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 it's kind of like crab thing and on the top we have the that special ag and uh, ld accessory uh ag meaning axle grease ld meaning lockdown and so we're going to have two of those easy right man easy um the back okay so this bit right over here there are two pegs protruding posts protruding from this jetpack bit that are plugged into the hands. Um, I mean, if you're familiar with, with uh, six gum or six nug, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, fine. This whole thing came off. It's, it's these bits, right? And so we're going to have the fists hold those. And then we're going to sandwich the torso. I can go for a sandwich right now, dude. I'm starving, dude. <laughs> it's at the end of the day, and I'm so hungry, dude. Um, uh, I think I messed up something. Okay, okay, yeah, you gotta have them like kind of or oriented upwards, like pointing upwards to some degree. Yeah, that's right. And the hands look like they're kind of hiding something behind his back, right? And so that's how it's supposed to look. 
And then this bit, we just have the, the hip connectors plugged in there as best as possible. But I just don't like how like this part looks. Like I could try to tell myself like, hey, they're like thrusters and stuff. And yeah, that's fine and stuff. But I don't know, man. I just don't like how that looks right now. So um, I have not planned this. But we're going to try to remix him on the fly right now. I'm not going to do anything with the legs. I think the legs are fine. They're self-sufficient. Um, and they're good, kind of as is. So not going to focus on that. But we are going to focus on the arms right now. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. And so we have to make some determinations. There was a build, I don't know if you guys recall, I don't know how many of you watch all the videos that I put out. I um, mean, it's, it's certainly a lot of content. Um, one of the builds that I did using a, a Chromar was that I connected the arms together like this and I really like this motif. Thought it was very cool. Um, I'm wondering if I can do something more with this right now with this torso. But in order to do that, like this arm is like, yeah, way too big. Let me look at it with the legs actually plugged in because I think we'll have a better gauge of um, proportions. All right, that's how he looks like that. And this arm, it would be a little fat. It would be a little fat. All right. Let's say I did this whole thing again, right? And then... Like, I could potentially have this... Hugging the hands and then have this closer up to the back. That, like, might work, but it will force yeah oh man all the joints are just so loose um but this over here this is primarily because the eh, it's a decent enough fit i suppose it just doesn't go in there that deeply the the connection is just rather shallow i am wondering if i can get these hands to play nice. I don't think they can orient in the way that I want them to. So what I'll do is I'll try something else. I'll try to have them sideways like that and then have these splay out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, nice, nice. Maybe I could even open these up. Now I'm like, can I, can I spin this? Ooh, look at that. That's kind of fly, dude. That's kind of sick, right? And then this could potentially just plug in there in the back as like a jet wing thing. Ah, it's a little too big. I do like this though. I do like that. And you could even have a little pilot sitting there or something. That's cool. That's cool. But that doesn't help me with the arms. Yo, you know what I just realized? His arms kind of look like Psykill, right? Um, the Gobot leader, the Renegade leader. Um, you're like, who? <laughs> Young cats be like, who? All right, let me see. Um, all right, so this is how tall he is right now. And that's fine, and I don't care if the legs pop off right now. I just need to see proportionally. Is he good? Oh, this is not bad. Let 
That's not bad. And then he even has like a little bit of an elbow bend. Dude, I almost cursed at that leg right now. <laughs> I was about to say, F you leg. Get out of here, dude. Because it's like, bro, I'm just trying to mock this up so I can get like a good good idea of proportions and you just flopping out on me. F you leg. Um, all right. That's that's not horrible. That's not horrible, actually. Um, then, whatever, dude. This I'd rather not have it here, to be completely honest with you. But it does kind of fold up a little bit, sandwiches, and that doesn't look that bad right there. It, it, it is quite a backpack. I mean, he'll still stand and everything, but... Boy, that's a backpack. All right, if this is what we've come to, then just wondering if perhaps I can remove these and do something a little bit more creative with them. Oh, whatever, dude. I'll deal with the legs later. Really just want to focus on the arms right now. Um, I mean, I guess I could give... one arm a hook and it would be very like lockdowny so to speak and dude get out of here legs <laughs> bro i'm just trying to do stuff dude how come you can't cooperate with me um that's okay but not quite feeling that and uh because there aren't any more like fists or anything like that and um or i could potentially swap out this for one of these but but i do like how this looks i mean this is like the only real feasible thing that i see so he's kind of like side swipey with the pokey arms and stuff. And if we want something like that, I mean, at this point, um, I kind of want to go home. <laughs> so I'm um, just being honest in that, like, I'm just like, whatever, dude. I'm just going to rush and finish this build. Uh, I mean, that doesn't look that bad, though. Honestly, it, it really doesn't. I would like to cover these up, like, a little bit more it would be perfect if I could do like that that would be dope but I can't um, can I do that oh that's not bad that's oops, that's not bad So what you're watching right now is literally what I do at home, the creative process. I like talk to myself. I just talk out loud and I'm just like, uh, and I'm trying different things, you know, uh, because I just want it to look, well, per perfection is an impossible uh, state to achieve, but I just want it. I just want to feel like good about this and just be able to like walk away and to be like, yeah. So I'll put the hook back on the knee just because I don't got anywhere else to put it right now. Uh, I could potentially put it right there, but whatever, dude. And then from here, mm, could either add these like up here, or if you want more of an engine block standing out, I suppose you could do that. That's kind of cool, man. I think I like the second one better. Um, neat, neat, neat. 
So that was kind of like an impromptu build along and bruh, get in focus, please. That was an impromptu build along and I'm actually really pleased with with uh with how this came out. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty neat, right? I mean, a uh, backpack. Oof. Yeah, a little bit rough, a little bit rough, but uh, we got there. We got there. We got there. So if you have lockdown and a chromar or a six gum or an axle grease, you know, or, or whatever, any, any any type of uh, um, proper mold mate, you can create this at home. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's been a bit of a long one. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye.